<sighs> breath. It sounds so good and so juicy. It's happening all the time, right? Half the time we don't even notice that our body is breathing. But if you've had trauma and you experience anxiety or other discomfort in your body, sometimes it can be tough to connect with the breath. It can even be confronting. So today I'm gonna to talk about a trauma-informed approach to breath work. And that video is inspired by the card, Trauma Aware Breath Work, that is part of the Holistic Trauma Healing Card Deck. And you can learn more about it in the description. If you've experienced any sort of trauma or any sort of pain or any harm to your body, the body might not feel like a safe place to reside. And if you're being asked to breathe and feel your body, you're essentially being asked to feel these parts that might be storing pain. And it's still important to be able to access breath work to help to calm your nervous system, or maybe when you're triggered, it could help you come back to yourself. But how can you do this while you're, while you're healing from trauma or perhaps getting support with anxiety or other discomforts, chronic pain, whatever it be? How can you approach breath work in a way that's gentle and aware and in tune with your body needs? So the first thing you want to notice is what is it that my body's telling me? Your body cues are information. Your body cues can be as grand and big as your heart racing or clenching. They could also be subtle. It could be numbness in your body. And that's also information. So if you're aware of your body, then you can take back your power, your choice, which is really important. You get to have choice of how much you engage, how little you engage, how deep you go, how not deep you go. When you're aware of your body and you can offer yourself that permission to hold your boundaries, then you can work with breath work in a safer way. It doesn't have to feel as confronting to connect with yourself if you're doing it uh, gradually. It's like dipping your toe in the water versus jumping in. Another modification that's really helpful is to focus on your exhale. Oftentimes when my clients come to me and when they're telling me I don't like breath work, it makes me more anxious, I ask them to breathe for me. And what I notice is that the breath is up here, right? If you do that right now, what do you notice? <laughs> It increases that cortisol, that stress hormone. It, it signals to your body, I better run. <laughs> it's actually, it can be a signal of a threat is present. When we breathe up here, it can signal more stress. And so of course it would make you feel anxious. But what if you were to drop down and to focus on your exhale, dropping your body down gradually in the way that feels comfortable to you, move that energy down a little bit. And what's most important is for you to go at a rate and a pace that feels comfortable to you. So you might love it after a while and it feels so nourishing and so good that you can stay there. You can stay with that breath. Or maybe you're like, mm, I'm going to do a couple breaths and then see how it feels. But ultimately, it's up to you at your pace and at your rate. But what's most important is that you're creating safety in your body and you're doing that by listening to signals of discomfort. Oh, I've had enough. Then honor that and stop. Don't push through it. Or maybe your body loves it. And it's saying, oh, I can finally unwind. So you can follow that cue. That creates safety in your body. So do it gently. Do it gradually. Honor your body's cues. Ah, and focus on that exhale. So what I want to do is walk you through a breath practice that I enjoy. We're going to do this practice by counting in to a count of four, and then we're going to hold for two and release for six. And when you're breathing in, see if you can bring that breath a little bit lower than you normally do. And then you're going to hold, and then you're going to exhale to an extended exhale count of six. And again, I want you to keep in mind what I just shared about honoring your cues, doing it at your pace and what feels comfortable to you. So go ahead and get into a comfortable position. Let wiggle out any tension. Ah, and then let yourself hold a soft gaze. If it's comfortable, you can close your eyes. Let out all your air. And then let's breathe in to a count of four. 
Hold for two and release for six. Breathe in for four. Hold for two and release for six. Again, breathe in for four. Hold for two and release for six. for six. Hmm. And just take a moment and notice if there's any shifts in your body. They it could be subtle or they might be bigger. You might even feel a little loopy. Let yourself to just sink in for a second and notice. And so it's a two part practice and will include an affirmation or intention that you might be ha having. So bring something to mind right now, which is important for you. If you're someone who gets into that, you might have formed some manifestations or some intentions for the new year. Since right now when I'm making this video, it's January of 2024. So bring one of those to mind. For example, <laughs> my meta for this year is to be with the flow. So I wanna be with the flow of what's coming to me and responding to that, like a current in a river. And I'm feeling the energy of that. So I invite you to think about something that you'd like to experience and possibly create for yourself. And then I wanna invite you to put that in the positive. So let's say I wanna feel less anxious, say something like, I would like to feel ease in my body. And then we're going to move that to the present tense. I feel ease in my body. So take a moment and come up with yours. And then we'll go into the two-part breath practice. Now in the second part of this, we're going to do that breath practice, but we're going to hold that intention. So bring your intention or your affirmation to your mind and your heart. And what we're going to do is as we breathe in, we're going to breathe in still in that lower part of your body, but we're going to breathe that intention or that affirmation as though it's emanating from your heart. You're feeling it fully in your heart. You're letting it resonate with your heart. You're communicating with that. Yes, this is happening for me right now. I'm living this experience and I feel it in my heart and it feels whatever quality of feeling is for you. It's based and anchored in your heart and in your breath. So let's settle in our bodies, focus on your intention and feel it in your heart. You breathe into four. Hold for two, holding that intention in your heart and then releasing it, letting it be as you count to six. Breathing into four. Holding your intention in your heart, hold for two, and letting it go. Three, six, letting it be received. One more time, breathe into four, holding your intention in your heart, hold for two, see that intention and then release it. For six. And then let yourself feel what it feels like to bask in the energy and the connection with your breath and your heart and your intention. Just take a moment there. And if it felt like a lot of moving parts, <laughs> possibly to bring in your intention with your breath and your heart, that's okay. This is a practice, not a perfect. And I invite you to do that, to practice it throughout your weeks, your months. It might be a practice that you feel really connected with and that you make a regular practice. 
It helps to do it when you're not triggered or you're not activated. So it might be a morning practice for you or when you do at night or lunchtime or sometime throughout the day. If you do this, it's easier to remember to apply it when you're triggered or activated or stressed, when it might be really helpful to have this breath. So try it out, see if it's helpful for you and spread the love. If you like this video, share it. Of course, subscribe, it really helps because I wanna share this information and tools to anybody who can really use them. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day from my heart to yours. Take good care. Hi everybody. Would you subscribe please? It'll make the whole world a better place or at least yours, I hope. Thank you. And again, this video is inspired by the Trauma Aware Breathwork card, which is part of the Holistic Trauma Healing card deck. And I'll be doing videos for the 88 cards in this deck. Find out more about it below in the description.